Hey, what's up, family? My name is Brian, and I would like to welcome you back to the channel where we love to focus on financial and personal development. Now, before we get into uh, the video, One Stock to Own for Your Lifetime, I want to give you guys a word out of a book that I'm still reading, How to Think Like a Millionaire by Mark Fisher. Outstanding book. I think everyone should have this book in their library. All right, now here it goes. One day, a wise man was asked by a disciple, what it took to obtain wisdom. The sage led the disciple to a river and plunged his head underwater. After a few seconds, his anxious follower began struggling, afraid he was going to drown. But the teacher continued to hold his head underwater. The student struggled even harder. Finally, the wise man let him go just before he would have drowned and asked him, when your head was underwater, what did you want most? to breathe the frightened boy answer well there you have it that's exactly how much you must want wisdom and for those of us who are seeking to improve our lives that's how much we must want success in order to succeed we must have the knowledge we must have the insight and so therefore always family always seek wise cancel hey family now one stock that you can own for a lifetime is apple now you know i'm really big on index funds and etfs but um apple stock is a stock that you can really really own for a lifetime we know that um they have a what is the market cap now? The market cap is $2.75 trillion. Their market cap is bigger than most of the countries on this planet, which is crazy. But for the most part, they have uh, out, outstanding products. They have, you know, the iPhone, the iPad, you know, the MacBook Pros. They have the streaming services they're coming out with, Apple Music. It's just pretty much a phenomenal phenomenal story they are um truly truly successful as a matter of fact if you want to learn more about apple this book right here you probably can't really see it but this book right here steve jobs is probably one of the best books that you can ever read when it comes to succeeding when it comes to growing as a company when it comes to having the vision that no other person have um steve jobs was just incredible you should own this book this book will make you a believer into apple and and it would just it would just blow your mind this is a phenomenal book and i think everyone should own it but going back to apple now one of the things that that i like about yahoo finance is that you can go and you can take a look at the financials right you can go take a look at the financials so let's take a look at at the total revenue right that apple has generated so september of uh 2020 they had 275 million dollars in total revenue by september 2021 365 million dollars in total revenue in the trailing on uh, 12 months they are having a total revenue of 387 million dollars that is pretty pretty awesome now i've done a breakdown on each one of these you know total expenses net income you can actually find that on my page if you're looking to get a better understanding of income statements balance sheets and cash flow all right now something else that we can take a look at when it comes to apple is um let me see here well what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cash flow all right now when it comes down to the uh cash flow uh, something that we want to take a look at is the free cash flow and the free cash flow is the amount of money that is available to all stakeholders and so we're looking at uh the trail in 12 months and there is 107 billion dollars cash available for the stakeholders all right so that is something that we take we love to take a look at how much cash flow is the company generating is it a positive cash flow or is it a negative cash flow this is very very critical you big boys big investors uh this is one of the main numbers that they love to take a look at before investing in a company 
All right, so the, we have the cash flow and something else that's very, very important is the net income. After you've paid all the mortgages, after you've paid the CEOs and the vice presidents, their bonuses and their salaries, after you paid uh, you know, you know your, your facilities in China for manufacturing all of the goods for ordering and buying all of the goods for that for the specific period of time or for the year. How much money do you walk away with at the end of the day? And so what we love to do, we love to take a look at net income. When it's all said and done after Apple pays all of its people they walk away with 99 billion dollars net income 99 billion dollars net income which is up from uh let me see here 2021 it was a hundred and uh it was 94 so for it was 99 this year tw tw uh, tw uh, trailing 12 months um September 21 it was 94 look at that 57 million dollars in 2020 so the net income has gone up from 57 billion to 99 billion dollars that is tremendous that is tremendous and as Apple continue growing the one thing that Apple excels at is with its research and development and taking a look at all potential competitors now if they have a, a competitor that's fairly new onto the market apple has the cash flow to buy that competitor out and bring that software or that technology under apple's umbrella so when you have the type of cash flow that apple has it is a behemoth. It can go in and just buy up all of the little boys, all of the little technology um, sectors or, or the small technology companies. Apple has no no has no care in the world when it comes to investing into uh, great technologies to improve the functions of their business. All right. So free cash flow over one hundred seven billion net income 99 billion those are the first two things that you, you want to look at when it comes to if a company is a good or bad investment now if you would like a breakdown um of the uh, income statement or cash flow balance sheet hey leave something in the comments and i i go over what you know all of these um these sections mean basic eps um uh, average shares diluted average shares total operating income reported total expenses if you want to um you know know more about those just let me know and i can do a video breaking down each one of these sections all right but if this video added some value to you hey please hit a like subscribe and keep coming back for more wealth building information, peace.